It's my first work day after Christmas and New Year's and I think what I'm going to start with is uh, some cleaning. There's a lot of stuff underneath my work desk that I kind of just want to clean up and pack up because I won't be needing it anytime soon probably. And then after that I will probably do some painting. Okay, this is looking way better now and now I can start working on this piece. I got so excited to finally be filming at Cartier's Drive. I've heard so many stories about what went on here through the 60s. So many photos of all the past couple of months. Anyway, today I am going to run some errands with my mom. We're gonna go to the recycling center to drop some stuff off. It's called the recycling center but it's really um, a thrift store sort of so we're probably also gonna go in and buy something or at least look at stuff. And then we're also gonna be um, taking a painting to get framed. It's a painting that I painted and gave to my mom for her birthday and she wants to get it framed. But I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, something I realized last night, I think. I have thought about it before, I just haven't sort of um, admitted it to myself, I guess. But I started thinking about why I often feel such a struggle to to start painting. I don't mean like start a new painting, just any time I should be painting I just feel a struggle and it always feels like a lot of work even though the painting itself is not a lot of work and I started thinking that one of the things is probably um, that I always feel so obligated to film the process. That's how it's been for a really long time. I just always felt very obligated to film all my processes and I felt like it's the only way I'm going to get my art out there is to film how I make it and people won't be interested if I just post the finished art. And then last night I realized that that's pretty stupid. Um, there's a lot of artists who are very popular and has a big following even though they hardly ever post their process, they only post their finished art pieces. There are a lot of artists who post about a lot of other stuff but not their whole process and maybe they just sometimes film their process. And there's a lot of artists who are very popular and sell a lot of paintings without even being on social media. Because th that's another thing. And I feel like it's always been marketed to people as the best way to get um, clients and to sell stuff and I don't think it's true at all. I have just kind of been stuck in this mindset that I have to put so much effort into my social media in order to be a successful artist and last night I just kind of stopped and realized how stupid that sounds. Um, 
obviously I like social media and I like posting on social media when it gets to a point where it stops my creativity and my kind of um, <coughs> painting flow because I always have to start by taking out the camera and it feels like a very big chore. I think I should reevaluate if it's really necessary to do that stuff. Honestly, I'm kind of at a point right now where I would prefer to post about other stuff and maybe talk about some of my process and um, maybe focus more on the lifestyle side of things uh, and not so much the step-by-step -step process because I'm not really interested in making tutorials anyway so yeah I don't think I'm going to just stop uh, cold turkey with all the process filming but I'm gonna really really focus on and try to not feel so obligated so if I just feel like painting I'm just gonna paint so those were my thoughts from last night I'll try to film some stuff while we're out I don't know how much I'm gonna film but yeah my favorite color ever yeah just a very simple simple and loose sweater next up is this very again simple shirt with this just little cute floral pattern I don't know I've been really obsessed obsessed with um, floral patterns lately as you can probably see from the sweater I'm wearing, or the top I'm wearing right now underneath as well. So let's uh, try this on. Um, yeah, Q 
cute little sweater. It has a pocket here. So next up is this shirt. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is really not me. It's blue and it's stripy and I usually don't wear neither, but for some reason I just found it really cute. I like the overall style of the shirt and yeah, it looks... It's, it's... for some reason I really liked it. So again, let's try it on. And yeah. I'm wearing black pants right now. I think this would look a lot better with light blue jean. It has these um, roses and butterflies and then it says wild bloom and apparently also super cool. I didn't even notice that before. <laughs> okay, so that's all the clothes I found. Um, um, but I did find some more stuff. So this is probably my absolute favorite thing. Um, it's a basket and I don't know, it's just really really cute. It has this lid and you can open it up here and then the lid opens like this. And yeah, I don't know, it's just super cute. I don't know what I'm going to be putting in it yet. Um, maybe yarn. Or it could be cute in the bathroom to put some like a little toilet paper rolls in it or or even a plant you could have in it. Just keep it open and have a plant in it. And I found this and I honestly don't even know what this is, but it looked really nice and rustic and it's wooden. I guess you could put some yarn or cord on it. Personally, I could even just have it like this, like as a little decoration piece in my bookcase or something. Yeah, I just like that it looks old and rustic uh, and it was like 50 cents, so why not? And then finally, um, I decided I want to try to put my orchids in water, so I had to find something to put them in. Um, you're not supposed to submerge the roots completely in water, but I've seen people just put a little bit of water um, on the bottom. Oh no, and now I realize this is cracked. Well, shit. Anyways, I'm gonna try to put my orchids in these. Okay, so here are my two orchids, and I'm just going to empty out the substrate here. I have a bucket here, I'm not doing it on the floor. So the roots on this one are not looking very good, so uh, some of them already came off and I think I'm going to pick off quite a few more. Okay, so this is what we're left with now and I think I'm going to put this one in this um, more shallow bowl just so the roots will um, get to the water a bit easier. So let's look at the situation of this one, I think it's way better. So yes, this one looks so much better. Um, I have actually dropped this on the floor quite a few times. It's just fallen off the shelf. So that's, what's ma that's what makes the substrate stay light and airy, I guess. So this is good for this one. It could even be a bit larger, actually. So now I'm just going to 
so now I'm just going to add some water to these. I'm not going to fill, fill them up all the way. I'm just going to add a little bit to the bottom of them. Let's see what that looks like. <music> 